an eight on your side investigation to tell you about. Weddings are not cheap, and finding talented photographers to capture special moments, well, that can be expensive as well. No question about it. Tonight, the story of a Bay Area studio that lost its focus. Eight on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews is joining us tonight to, uh, tonight to uh, share more information about that. And as she mentioned, I mean, this is a big investment, Steve. Oh, sure. People pay thousands and thousands of dollars. This is really kind of a sad story about a photographer with an amazing portfolio and reputation. Something went terribly wrong, and his customers are paying the price. John and Diana Heener are celebrating their first wedding anniversary. I gave him... $4,000. In December 2013, they paid Gary Kaplan Photography in full for a package that included albums, prints. They still don't have what they paid for. No prints, no albums. Despite several emails and phone calls, John contends they haven't heard from Kaplan since October 2014. According to John, at that time, Kaplan claimed he was ill. He should have had a plan in place, um, a backup of some kind to, to make sure that if something happens, another person's going to be able to fulfill that. It's not just me. We paid $6,492. Gary Kaplan Photography shot Aaron Anderton's December wedding. It cost her an extra grand for Gary himself. I've seen his work. He's an amazing photographer. Gary was a no-show. Aaron claims his replacement photographer was late. He didn't take pictures of our rings. He didn't take pictures of my dress. He didn't take pictures of me in my dress. All she has are photos taken by friends. Aaron's dad is gone, so she shared a special dance with her very ill father-in-law. That is my father's best friend that I danced with on my wedding day. I have nothing, nothing to show that moment took place. My biggest fear is never getting my pictures. Gary Kaplan Photography is listed at 5450 Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. Well, that's a UPS store. So I decided to take a ride to his house. No luck there either. His daughter Shelby, who's listed in state records as the company's vice president, returned my call. Shelby claims she's not active with the company, has no rights to the pictures, and that her father is very ill. Erin made her final payment to Kaplan in November, a month before her wedding. She claims Gary then went radio silent. She heard he was deathly ill. Ten days before the wedding, she met with her Plan B photographer. According to Aaron, that's when Gary reached out and denied he was ill. He said, I will have photographers there. You will have these pictures. That was his opportunity to say, listen, I'm sick. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I took your money. Do what you need to do, but hire someone else. I'm not going to be there. Now, a little after 10 this evening, Aaron Anderton called me. According to Aaron, one of the subcontracted photographers who shot her wedding contacted her a bit earlier today and told her he backed up all of her photos on his computer and he'll make sure she gets those wedding shots. Not exactly what she paid for, but at least she knows the shots are there. Right, I mean, they exist at least. Yeah. So what kind of track record does the studio have? Obviously, these are some gifted photographers. But... Yeah, really, the studio has no complaints on file with the Better Business Bureau, one, con one with consumer protection in Hillsborough County. And here at Eight on Your Side, I've seen at least five complaints from different parties. And you spoke to Shelby again tonight, the vice president. Yes, I did, and Shelby insisted that we speak off the record. I agreed, but even if she agreed to go on the record, there is no way I could repeat on TV what she said hmm. on the phone. A little profanity laced, I'm, uh, I'm assuming. We'll there. call it colorful. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Andrews, reporting Thanks, for Steve. us tonight.